yesterday on Instagram, I received a comment from Freedom3470 asking about alternative hamster supplies for those of us who live in countries where hamster supplies are difficult to come by. So since I live in one of these countries, I have picked up quite a few tips and tricks when it comes to shopping for hamsters and hopefully I'll be able to share those tips with you today and inspire you and make things a little bit easier when it comes to shopping for your pets. To begin with, you of course have online pet shops which ship to many different countries. Now, not all pet shops will ship to your particular country and what I would suggest doing is going on to a hamster forum and asking on there to see if anyone knows of any particular pet shops that may ship to you. Now, the one that I use most commonly is biovet.co.uk, which is a UK-based website uh, which actually ships internationally, so all over the world. They are the only pet shop I can find that ships here to Cyprus, which is why I use them so, so much. Then there are of course places like Amazon and eBay, which can be great for picking up cheap pet supplies. And you can go to secondhand websites like Craigslist and Gumtree, Preloved. We have one here called Bazaraki. They're all really good, again, for picking up some cheap and decent quality pet supplies. If you're not able to shop online or you would prefer to shop around locally, then some places to check in would definitely be thrift shops and charity shops. However, you are going to have to be a little bit imaginative when it comes to picking up things for your pets. So I'm going to talk about a few of the alternative options you have when it comes to shopping for hamsters. The first thing would be, of course, cages. Now, you have three options for cages. The first would be glass tanks. The second would be bin cages. And the third would be DIY cages. DIY cages usually work out to be quite cost effective as you can usually build a very large cage for less money than it would cost to buy a cage of that size in the shops. Of course, not everyone is big on DIY. They may feel like they're not able to build something or they don't have the tools for doing it or they just don't enjoy DIY. So perhaps a better option for you would be bin cages. Now, bin cages are available again no matter where in the world you live and I will show you exactly what a bin cage looks like if you don't already know. So this is one of my old bin cages. This used to be an extension onto a previous cage I had. And as you can see, all it is, is a plastic storage container. I picked this up for, I think, eight euros at Jumbo. And all I've done is cut a hole in the lid and put some mesh in there for ventilation. Um, now, of course, you can ventilate the sides as well if you prefer to. This particular bin cage is 360 square inches. So this is the bare minimum that you can have for a hamster cage, regardless of whether it's a bin cage, a DIY cage, a commercial cage. This is the smallest size you can have for a hamster. Ideally, you want to go a little bit bigger if you can. But bin cages are very affordable, they require only the tiniest bit of DIY and if you get a bin cage that's tall enough and you don't own a cat then you don't even have to do any DIY, you can just keep the lid off of it. If you want to see how I made this particular bin cage, there is a video over on my channel that you can check out where I show you exactly how I made it. Now if you really, really do not want to do DIY, a glass tank is your best option. Uh, the minimum size for a glass tank is 20 gallons. It needs to be either 20 gallons or bigger for your hamster. And you should be able to find a glass tank quite easily in a pet shop. You can find them in the fish section or in the reptile section. However, if you get them from pet shops, they can be a little bit on the expensive side. Some of them can cost hundreds, some of them only cost maybe 60, 70 euros. That can still be quite a lot of money. So what I would recommend is actually looking online on secondhand websites for some cheaper second-hand tanks, as you can get these for an absolute bargain. I'm not kidding, I have had tanks in the past that only cost me five quid to get them second-hand, whereas they would have cost about a hundred to get them brand new. So you can make massive savings if you get them second-hand. Moving on to substrate for the cage, because one of the most common things I hear is from owners who live in countries that are still only selling pine and cedar substrate to small pet owners. If you're having a really difficult time finding safe substrates, then shredded paper is probably your best option. Now you can of course shred it from home, you can sometimes get shredded paper from offices that are thrown away, um, you may be able to get them from places that recycle paper, maybe they've got big bags of it that they'd be willing to give to you. Plain shredded paper is considered the safest as there are some inks that may cause harm to your hamster, however most inks these days are soy based which means they're perfectly harmless to your pet. But if you're really unsure and you're really worried, the safest bet is to go for plain shredded paper. 
The only big downside of shredded paper is that it has no odour control and your cages will definitely smell more quickly than with other substrates. The only thing I can suggest to help combat that would be taking a teaspoon of baking soda and just sprinkling it around your hamster's cage. Now, don't put too much in because you don't want your hamster ingesting it as it can be harmful in large amounts but a teaspoon sprinkled around the cage will be harmless to your pet and it will help to reduce the smell at least a little bit. When it comes to nesting material, I suggest this to pretty much every single owner regardless of where in the world they live and that is just simple toilet paper. We all have it in our houses, it's safe for your houses, it's safe if they ingest it. Ooh. It's absorbent which is of course great and it's super comfy and super cosy for your pet. So it's definitely a thing I would recommend giving as nesting material. You can either give it in one large piece, you can break it into the smaller squares or you can just shred it up and give it to your hamster like that. Treats can be another big problem for people because sometimes you can't find any hamster treats in pet shops. Homemade treats are definitely the best option if that is your problem. And homemade treats can be really, really easy. These, for example, uh, these are actually treats that we made for John, but these are safe to give to hamsters as well. And all these are is rolled oats that have been wet and mixed together in a bowl to make them into a sort of a, a mushy paste. And then I've lobbed out a few small pieces onto a baking tray put it in the oven at about 150 degrees, I think, and then just cook them in there until they are dried out. And you've just got a nice little ball of oats there, which is a really healthy treat for your pet. You could even add in bits of fruit or vegetables just to make it a bit more exciting. Food is not something I would necessarily recommend you making at home because it can be really easy to uh, make the wrong amount and create an unbalanced diet. It's very easy to make mistakes with diets. Um, so if you're kind of not sure what to buy, best thing is go into your pet shop, see what kind of hamster foods they have there, look at the ingredients on them, especially look at the protein content and just buy the one with the highest amount of protein. Even if you really can't find something with, you know, 18, 19% protein, which would be the ideal, just get the one with the highest amount of protein. It's going to be better than nothing and it's definitely going to be better than accidentally creating an unbalanced diet at home. Food bowls aren't necessarily hard to find, but finding cute ones can be a little bit more difficult. And some of us like to have cute bowls in our cages. So these are the kind of bowls I have in my cages. And these are actually ashtray 